Thank you, Chairman. I strike the last word, and I want to uh, speak in strong support of H.R. 3244, the Stop Fentanyl Money Laundering Act of 2023, introduced by Chairman of the National Security and Illicit Finance Subcommittee, uh, Representative Luckemeyer. I was happy to join him and my colleagues, Representative Barr and Nunn, as a co-lead to introduce this important piece of legislation. As a mother and grandmother, it pains me to see that our youth, the future of our country, is being damaged by the rampant fentanyl crisis. According to HHS, HHS rates of illicit prescription pill use are now the highest among people ages 18 to 25. And to make matters worse, DEA says that about four out of 10 illicit pills contain lethal doses of fentanyl. In California's 40th district, Orange County Sheriff Barn Darns says that from 2021 to 2022, seizures of fentanyl had more than quadrupled to 450 pounds. His department also seized more than 405,000 pills suspected of containing fentanyl in 2022. This is 25 times the amount seized in 2021. One report close to my district says one out of every five youth deaths in California are caused by fentanyl. Unfortunately, these numbers help to paint a picture of horror and despair for each of the families of those taken by a, a fentanyl overdose. This committee has examined how Chinese syndicates and Mexican drug cartels utilize trade-based money laundering to move illicit money into the legal financial system. The illegal proceeds are then used by the Mexican cartels to purchase precursor chemicals from the PRC to synthesize and manufacture fentanyl at very low cost and very high margins. We must do everything in our power to put a stop to this evil partnership and protect our youth, our constituents, and our country. H.R. 3244 will direct FinCEN to do more to thwart trade-based money laundering and prioritize uh, SAR reporting on narcotics, trafficking, and drug cartels. H.R. 3244 empowers FinCEN to improve reporting by financial institutions and improve data that could help us better shed light on the partnership between Chinese criminal syndicates and Mexican drug cartels. I urge my colleagues to support H.R. 3244, and with that, I yield the balance of my time. 